you know, we have been replacing so many stolen catalytic converters. A lot of, over the last year and this year, we've done so many catalytic converters that were stolen, especially Toyota Priuses. And uh, the insurance company has been coming and replacing them. And some of the customers are like senior citizens and all, you know, and we feel very bad that people are stealing their cat converters. Luckily, one day, Miss Kathy Plevy from the Tacoma Park Police Station, she came and she approached me and she talked to me and she said, you know, we're planning to do something about this stolen catalytic converters and, you know, are you interested? Will you be, uh, you know, partners? And I said, sure, why not? It was a very good idea, you know? When I, I kept putting out thefts of catalytic converters to the community and the chief and I were talking about it one day and we decided we were going to see if there's something other departments were doing. So I went to the Google machine like I always do and I Googled in, you know, stolen catalytic converters and then I came across the Etch and Catch program. I looked at a lot of different departments but the one that uh, stood out to me was the one from Rockland um, Police Department out in California. So I called Officer Alway out there and he was extremely helpful to me in putting it together, making it um, a Tacoma Park event, telling me how, you know, the process he went through to get it off the ground. So that was really helpful. And it was really nice because this morning I received a call from someone in Oregon who said they saw our program and wanted to know if I'd walk them through the process, which is really nice to pay it forward now to someone else to get them getting their program started. Um, but it's nationwide, this etch and catch. So we just, we jumped on and uh, hopefully it works. They are very easy to steal. You know, like now you can go to Home Depot and you can buy a battery powered saw, hacksaw that are so powerful. And the Toyota Prius exhaust, the pipes are so thin, you know. So it just takes like a minute or two for them to just cut it and steal it. So this is, this will help. Maybe this will prevent, you know, people will see that we have etched the license plate number on the catalytic converter, we've painted it, there will be a sticker on the window that, sh that basically identifies this car has been, you know, there has been, it has been etched, and hopefully if they can, you know, track it down and see, and maybe this will stop them from stealing. You know, this is a phenomenal program. You know, the catalytic converter theft has been one of the highest uh, volume thefts we've had here in the city of Tacoma Park. We were really looking for a way that we could help prevent thefts and also solve, solve a catalytic converter thefts when they'd occurred. Uh, so it's great to have this program. Um, you know, we're marking catalytic converters, so t t number one, deter thefts. But also when we get a theft, the person who steals the item won't be able to sell it to a, to a junkyard. And we also can track it via the number that's on the catalytic converter. So it's a great way to try to deter crime, but also be able to investigate it after the fact. I had an early morning appointment and I needed my car and when I went out to my car which was on the street I saw that there were two big rocks behind both tires and I thought it was strange and I got a funny feeling inside that something is wrong. So when I tried to start it, uh, it was a horrible noise. It sounded like a 747 aircraft with no windows and I turned it off immediately. And I went and borrowed a friend's car to go to my appointment. And I came back and I realized that there were rocks in front of both front wheels. And I got very suspicious and I called the Tacoma Park Police. And they came up and we had a nice conversation. And I called my mechanic here and he said, Michael, I will tell you, your catalytic converter was stolen. So I got a whole education on that, but I felt, I felt violated that part of my car was stolen. And I also felt very creepy because I realized when I thought about it, when Dolly told me that I was the fourth or fifth victim in my neighborhood, that someone has been going through my neighborhood at night, checking out the cars. So I felt double violated uh, and very uncomfortable with it. But the police department was very good. I appreciated it. And I felt very inconvenienced because I had to call my insurance company. Um, the insurance paid for everything. I was very grateful, but I didn't have a car for a week. So I felt violated, I was inconvenienced, and I was angry. <laughs> and I shouldn't be laughing, but I was, I was angry. The theft of catalytic converters is a nationwide problem that people are having, um, getting their catalytic converters stolen. And a problem we're also seeing is once they're stolen, 
if we recover any, there's no way to track it because there's no identifying number on the catalytic converter. So what we're doing is we're having Dooley, who went into partnership with us on this uh, crime prevention, we're having him etch in the tag number of the vehicle along with spray painting it with some high heat spray paint and then uh, putting a yellow sticker in the back window so that we have three or four different deterrents going on at the same time. You know, you see the sticker, maybe you won't steal it. You see the spray paint, maybe you won't steal it, or you see the etching. Um, and also, if you do happen to steal it anyway and try to sell it, we're hoping the person that was going to buy it sees the markings and is like, no, I'm not, I'm not touching that. But also, if we get them back now and we find them, we can now get them back to the owner that they came from. So if they had gone out and spent a lot of money on replacing a catalytic converter, they now have theirs back that maybe they can reputably sell it back to a, uh, a dealership or wherever they need to send it so they can resell it to someone else that needs one. Um, so it's about trying to prevent it, but also trying to get them back to their owners if we do find the ones that are stolen. And again, like I said, this is nationwide. This is not just the Tacoma Park. Um, today, we've got people coming from not just Tacoma Park, but Prince George's County, the District of Columbia, Montgomery County. The more the merrier. We want to get as many X as we can. So we can let the thieves know we're doing our part and hopefully they'll move on somewhere far away. What we're going to do is we got such a good response, you know? Like there's too many people that once they catalytic converter etched because they all worried. So I've decided I'm going to extend it for next year. Next two, three years is going to be free. But all I request the customers is please set an appointment. Set an appointment with me. Leave your car with me for two, three hours. I'll etch it for you. And again, it's going to be a free complimentary service. It's a great partnership between us and OSF Automotive. It allows the community to step up and assist us with crime solving. Um, you know, Mr. Dooley here at RSF Motive stepped up and, and really uh, gave us the opportunity. We're looking for other uh, automotive businesses within uh, this area to step up as well. The more the merrier. Uh, Mr. Dooley's already booked up, so the more um, automotive companies we can get that can partner with us, the better. Um, but it's a great partnership between community and the police to, 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 to make an impact on the citizens here in Tacoma Park. Um, whatever program Tacoma Park is participating in, and I understand it's a national one, I'm very happy about it because um, th this is a type of criminal activity we should be able to stop. And I'm, I'm glad we're so proactive here in Tacoma Park. Uh, and I wish you all the very best.